Alright, hey YouTube, it's Elizabeth Joan here, and well, I'm gonna try my hand at this because, well, I don't know, I've always wanted to try it, but right now it's 1.19 a.m. on Sunday, December 14th, 2008, and I had absolutely nothing else to do besides sleep, but I'm not really tired because I just woke up, so I decided that I'd try my hand at this. Okay, so anyway, this is finals week, and everyone's pretty much freaking out, and the thing is that I look at all my friends who go to UCs, and they're already done with finals, and they're home, because they finished their finals last week, but I have one more week to go before I get to go home, and I'm pretty excited to go home, I mean, I love New York, it's awesome, but... I don't know. I kind of miss the boringness of the, the Inland Valley. Yeah, I'm from Southern California, so uh, I went pretty far to go to school. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm not sure that I'm going to do too well. I mean, I know international politics is pretty easy, but I haven't been to class in a while. So I'm going to have to catch up on my studies, which is what I'm probably going to be doing all day tomorrow, so that I can do well. And, well, also, I think, I think I'll do pretty decently on my science course, because I've always been good at science. But I haven't been there in a while either, so maybe if I just catch up on the reading, I'll be okay. And, yeah. Um, as for Con West, which is Conversations of the West, which is one of the map requirements if you're in the College of Arts and Science at New York University, I haven't done the reading since, like, September. So I'm not sure that I'm gonna, that I'll do too well on that, but you know, for the midterm, I got a C on the exam, and I did most of my response papers besides the structured response papers, and I still got a passing grade. So, as long as I get a C on the final, I did my structured response paper. So, I think that I should be able to pass that class. It's not like it matters because, okay, I came here as a journalism major, but... I hate journalism. It is not what I want to do. I I actually really just applied as a journalism major so that the so that I could come to New York City because what I really want to do is I really want to be an actress. The thing is that I never had any training. I've had like a couple some experience like a couple school plays and I was in a film for my friend's senior project just last year but I've never had any professional training or anything so I was I doubted my ability ability to be able to get into the Tisch School of Arts here but I decided that I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna apply for internal transfer to that school for next year I can't turn that application in until next semester, although I've already filled it out completely. Um, but yeah, because, you know, I decided it's what I really want, so I'm just going to go for it. I don't even give a shit if I don't get in. Well, actually, I do. But, you know, if I don't, I'll live. I decided that if I don't get accepted into Tish, then... Next year, I'll apply to Columbia because I think I might have been able to get in, but since my grades probably won't be too impressive this semester, that as long as I do well, like from now on, which I've decided I need to do, I need to do well from now on, then I'll probably get a transfer granted because you don't even need to audition to get in the theater program because it's just a BA, not a BFA. And I decided that, um, okay, I'll apply to Columbia or the Cal Arts Institute, UCLA, you know, 
because for me it's either LA or New York, you know, nothing in between. Or also, I might apply. Well, my top choice is to stay here at NYU and just transfer to the Gallatin School of Individualized Study because you can study pretty much anything you want there. So I'll double in psych and drama, which I'll do anyway if I get into Tish, because I'm totally dropping journalism, and I'm just going for psych. Okay, well, anywho, right now, my roommate went back to Jersey. Okay, recently, I've really gotten to be a big fan of Neil Patrick Harris, because he is just an amazing actor, and, you know, it doesn't matter to me that he's gay, because, you know, more power to him. And he's a magician. Okay, like, I've always been interested in magic, but I never really pursued it. I would just watch, you know, World's Best Magic on TV and stuff. And, I don't know, I think he's the reason that I'm getting back into watching all that stuff. I've never, I never really want to actually, like, perform magic. I'd rather watch magic shows. But when it comes to, like, performing, you know, anything else, like, song or just music. Yeah, I've been in band pretty much all my life. This is actually the first time since fourth grade that I'm not playing an instrument because my flute needs to be repaired. I tried doing it myself, but that key just won't come unstuck, so I have to take it into the shop. But, you know, if I get it fixed, I might audition for the YouTube Symphony Orchestra because that is pretty awesome. I like to be a part of that. And I also might audition for um, NYU's orchestra, you know, to pass the time. It at least get me out of my room because I hardly ever leave it. Unless, you know, I really only leave my room to get food or go to class. That's pretty sad. I mean, I used to go out just to walk. But then I got really lazy. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a big Ludo fan. They are amazing. I saw them for the first time on October 20th at the Knitting Factory here. And I'm going to see them again next, well, not next Saturday, this Saturday now, in San Bernardino when I go back home. I originally wasn't going to go back home until the 21st, but then I found out that they were playing in San Bernardino on the 20th, and I just had to be there. So I switched to an earlier flight, so I'll be going home on the 19th now. Pretty cool. Um, and then I'll be seeing them again February 19th, which is Thursday at the Highline Ballroom. And I'm going to get there early because I am going to get my spot. Yeah. Like, at the Knitting Factory. Um, my roommate and I got there kind of late, we were in the back, and I told her I am going to get up to the front before they come on, because they were headlining. And I did, and I stood right in front of Andrew, because he's my favorite, and he's amazing, and super nice. They're all really nice. So, I'm going to get to that spot again. Alright. Um, so yeah, you know. Hope everyone's doing well, and I'll, I really don't have much else to talk about because I'm a really boring person, so I guess I'll just go now, so, um, oh, and you better recognize my name because I will be famous one day, just watch, okay, peace out YouTube.